Ho, 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 everybody. Okay, it's not Christmas. I wanted to shoot this video on Christmas, but as you might imagine, I was busy doing, well, Christmas stuff. We've got lots of mail from YouTube friends to open today. We're at that weird spot between Christmas and New Year's where I'm never quite sure what day it is. I think it's the 27th right now. But there's going to be a lot of, uh, I'm not going to be able to keep the schedule that I hoped for my <clears throat> top 10 videos because I'm actually moving out of this room, believe it or not. I just got this, I was just getting this room to where I wanted it. And my wife proposed that I move into her office and that we switch some other rooms around. And her current office makes a lot more sense for the wall space I want and just all my stuff. So I'm gonna be moving, I'm gonna be moving rooms. So in my future videos, basically starting now, you're gonna see kind of some different things. And until I get it perfect, I probably won't do like another card room tour or anything like that. But that's coming up. I hope I can keep track of everything as I'm moving it all of 30 feet down the hallway. But uh, it's going to be a good thing. So for now, let's take a look at these. In some cases, I sort of pre-open these. Either I wasn't sure who it was from and wasn't sure it was actually a Christmas card or holiday card. And in some cases, honestly, I just got really snoopy and not very patient and just wanted to get to it. But this one, I didn't recognize the address and there was no name on it. And I got opening it and it said, Merry Christmas, appropriate. Some cards in it. And it says, Eddie, hoping your holidays are peaceful, not chaotic, ha ha. They are, but that's, I embrace it. Enjoy the enclosed for your 86 auto set, Mike the Vintage Composer. And this is really cool because I didn't even know, I don't think Mike and I have had any mail ever exchange hands, so I'm not sure how he got my address. But someone gave it to him and I appreciate that because I did check to see I do need Randy St. Clair and Terry Pohl both. So those will go right into that 86 autograph binder. Thank you, Mike. And uh, getting a card from Mike reminds me that uh, Hall of Fame, YouTube Sports Card Hall of Fame voting is on the horizon. And I say that because I think last year I mentioned Mike's channel is kind of a channel I aspire to be. And that hasn't really changed. So I don't know, I guess I'm saying Mike, be looking forward to the Hall of Fame voting. Next up, this one is not pre-sliced. It's from Jason Twilly, AKA Poor Man Stack. Not sure what to expect here, bumping cameras. Brand new setup here. This may not last like this. I don't know. I just threw things in here. And this is the new room, so we'll see how it goes. Joy to the world, for unto us a child is born. Isaiah 9 through 6. Or 9, 6. So there are some cards in here. I'm going to put those aside. Wishing you wonder and happiness at Christmas and always. Merry Christmas, Ed. Keep making a smile. Poor man stack. Well, if I do make you smile, I appreciate that. Some Jackies. Oh, there's some other stuff here too. Santa Kip's gonna end up being blocked out by the time this is over, but that's okay. He's been in enough videos. So here we go. Uh, Jackie card there. Jackie card there. Charlie Huff, I've been meaning to send a TTM to him. Hopefully he signs. Jackie there. Jackie on the Ginter. And thankfully we have enough cards for our project, Jackie Robinson project. 
And there's the Alvin Davis Tops uh, sticker album sticker. Thank you, Jason. Mindful of our glare. Up next, I'm trying to read what the address says. The rest of the room is pretty dark here. This is from Tony Black. The only mail I sent that didn't arrive at its destination was to Tony Black. So hopefully it's still bouncing around. I didn't put enough postage on it or put the wrong address on it. Hopefully it still gets there. I just, I don't know. Uh, everything else arrived safely. Uh, one thing, I never got the origin of putting Eddie the Great on things. He's been doing it for a while. And I don't know where that came from. I assure you I've not referred to myself as Eddie the Great. But Tony does what Tony does. And he's always got a comment about Ron Santo either way. Christmas wishes. Oh, I see some football. Let's get to the note here. I know these aren't stadium club cards, but I'm sure they will look great with some ink. Have a great 2024. And as we near our five years on YouTube, let's start thinking of ideas on how to celebrate. That's right. Tony and myself and Scott and Fourleaf all have our anniversaries around the same time, early April here on YouTube. There's not going to be room for all these cards. Sorry, friends. And uh, last year we did a thing together, which was a lot of fun. So we might have to consider doing that again. Joe Nash and Steve Largent. That's a great Steve Largent card there. I'm taking these out of the loaders or the sleeves because of the glare. It's hellacious otherwise. Well, looks pretty good now. Looks pretty good now. We still got four things left. I hope you're still with me. I'm not in any hurry to get through these. Christmas comes but once a year. This one is from our friend, mine and yours, YouTube Sports Card Hall of Famer. We already mentioned Scott at Reindeer Studios. Uh, here we go. I was happy to see that he got these printed in time. I know there was an issue. But uh, I've seen these on a couple other channels and love the uh, homage to the 52, was it, Wheaties? And I just sent a Stan Usual portrait to uh, SGC. So be looking for that, hopefully, you know, mid-January, somewhere in there. But uh, here's this, you got the color right, you got the shape right, uh, everything. It's really cool, really cool. So here we go. Wheaties, just like a bowl of Wheaties fuels superstars on the field. I hope this season fuels your spirit with health and happiness. May your days be merry and the glow of the season be as bright as stadium club light, stadium lights on a starry night. Eddie Green Tape is more Christmassy. Just saying, despite your affinity for blue tape, it's a pleasure to call you a friend. I hope you have a very Merry Christmas. Your ultra bestie scott and again we'll just have to go with like the most recent card on the front because like i said i'm making this up as i go here in this current thing so uh, some of his art cards which i'm really excited about getting roy hobbs of course and one punch ramirez as i affectionately call him now uh boy was that one of the coolest <laughs> baseball fights uh, you've ever seen, not just 2024, but uh, what do we got here? There's no name on this thing. Oh, this came from, and thank you, Scott and everybody. So, uh, Megan TT Hobbies, this is from her, and this is the card I pulled out. There was a slight security concern, but that was addressed. Uh, Christmas greetings. Eddie and family, joy and peace to you and yours on this holiday. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Megan TT Hobbies. A uh, lot of lot of TTMs and um, uh, in person graphing from Megan. She I think is on Instagram a little more than YouTube, but I have seen an uptick in in YouTube videos lately. So hopefully she's going to be on YouTube more more and more. Oops, almost got the address there. 
Uh, let's see. I'm going to get everything out. I'm already learning this exact setup. It's not going to work for every video. But that's how you learn these things. Uh, I see a Brandon Lau card on the back. Very cool. Let's see here. Matt Scheffler. I think I'm reading that right. Is a Mariners either draft pick or um, free agent or something. I'm not familiar with him, but hopefully goes on to be a superstar, of course. Uh, nice RJ. Museum. Kelnick. I have the Griffey from this exact same set. And it's called image variation, but it's really like design variation because this is from 2021, I think. And this is obviously the design from 1991. But you get that. Whoa, a Ricky. Uh, I ain't even in the shot here. Tools of the trade as a Mariner. That's our stand card. What do we got? A bat in a uniform. Mind the glare, mind the glare. Jake Fraley, George Kirby, my boy. Marco, Robbie Ray, hoping he can pitch this year. Jesse Winker, Abraham Toro, Paul Sewald, almost a world champion. There's Julio with a trident. I love that home run celebration. I think one of the best in the league. I don't know, maybe I'm biased. And very cool, Brandon Lau, select dancing, cir dancing circles, we'll call it. Thank you, Megan. Very cool. I have an alarm going off here for my reading groups. But they're on vacation, just like me. One more, our neighbor to the north, Flying Dutchman cards, Andy Vandermeulen. Uh, very very uh, on brand with the envelope of every imaginable color variation of the Flying Dutchman logos. And I sliced this one, but didn't open it. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. Okay, envelope's empty. Card, feels like there might even be a card in the card. And then I got some um, other stuff. So let me get this open here. All right, let's see here. Okay, new sticker, nice. Um, this is just a envelope, here we go. Oh, I see, that's the front of the card from old Beckett. And in here, it was awesome to be able to meet up several times this year. We will have to catch a game or something this next year. Thanks so much for the support as well. I really appreciate it. Merry Christmas, Andy, Flying Dutchman Cards. Hey, I like having friends, so we'll get together whenever we can. So whatever this is, is wrapped in a, like a old Beckett thing. Let's take a look here. Oh, Alvin Davis, Chattanooga Lookouts, which is hard to find to begin with. And it's signed... And I can authenticate that autograph because I have gotten a lot of his in person and TTM and certified, but I do not have this one. Thank you, Andy. I out of room to stand things up. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna do it anyway. Okay, I don't know how long this video is gonna be. Live stream win from last summer. Sorry, it's late. I do remember getting a was it a Brooks Robinson something? And then maybe there's some other stuff in here too. Let's see here. Oh, James Shields. I don't even remember this. I remember winning something. James Shields, Rays. One of my favorite in-person experiences is of James Shields. And here's a couple Jackies. Nice. Um, here's more Jackies. I don't know if these are supposed to go to my project or, or whatever. But I think what I'm going to do in some cases is 
replace some of the project cards with other cards just so there's more variety. So here we have, these are a lot of the same, but I don't think I have a lot of these to begin with. So that's cool too. And a lot of Jackie's there and even more. Maybe you had these ready, I don't know. And didn't get around to send them. Thankfully we did meet our objective for the Jackie project. Uh, the course of cards have not gone out yet. They won't go out until Jackie Robinson day or the day before, cause it's a week in this year. And based on how successful that is, I'll decide if we're going to do it every year or every couple of years or whatever. But either way, it looks like I got a good start going here if I want to keep this project alive. More Jackies, more Jackies. I always like that one. The, from the baseball set. And man, am I ever set. I probably have 250 now if I wanted to go that crazy. That's it. Wow, unbelievable. Tony, I hope mine gets to yours someday. Um, if not, we'll have to do like a double thing next year or something. Who knows? But thanks for everyone that sent something and everyone that sent me well wishes this holiday season. I, I wish I could give to everybody, of course. Typically, I have not given out Christmas presents at all and did something called Eddie Gives Back in January. I think I will probably do that anyway. And that will be a VR giveaway. Just like I've done the last three years, I think. We'll do that again. So be looking for that probably after I finish my top 10 videos. And again, I don't know when that will be because I am on the move. And I'm learning, I don't have enough space here with this set up. I need to be wider and I need to be able to reach better. That's for me to figure out. Anyway, for now, Merry Late Christmas, Happy Early New Year, and until next time, remember, we don't count subscribers, we count friends.